Okay, welcome to our uh, design uh, conversation this tonight. So tonight we are very honored to have uh, Jay Lim from Subaki Studio. So Jay Lim is a multi-awarded uh, designer and creative director. So uh, without further ado, I'll pass the time to Jay. So Jay, thank you for coming in. Hey, hi, 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 everyone. Very thank you to Mr. Chun Wei, my best friend, and also uh, Equator for inviting me for uh, tonight's uh, this sharing section. Um, I think I uh, shouldn't introduce much uh, for myself on right now, but uh, I straight away to share my slide. Okay. Okay. Is it shared already? Okay, I make it full screen now. Okay. Okay, so um for today I'm going to share uh, about my 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 consider my design life lah, okay from my uh, from very young until how I uh, really uh, I mean uh, uh join into this uh, design industry. Okay, that's why the title is called uh, cut out for design. Uh, of course, here I would like to share about. Uh, I cut out a lot of uh, some memories of from my life. Okay, I would like to share it, uh, later, and also uh, from the design, I will. I also would like to share to you how to, how uh, I'm going. I I mean how I shape myself uh, to become a designer. Okay. Uh, I was born in uh, nineteen eighty three. So this year thirty eight. Consider uncle really, yeah. Okay. So, uh, but back to uh, 38, 38 years ago, I was born into a Chinese family. So it's a very typical Chinese family. Uh, I have two sisters, and I'm considered the the elder one uh, in the family. Okay. And my mom and my father, uh, actually, they are not. Uh, I mean, uh, having so high education. So you can see. Uh, basically, I just born in a very normal Chinese family. Uh, until uh, when I was about like three years old, I knew I could sense uh, these few things. Uh, example like colors, uh, composition, objects. Okay, when I was three years old, uh. so I remember one moment, uh, which is uh, I told by my mom, and he said, and she said that uh, I love to use uh, the color pencil or even the pencil to do. Uh, I mean, do the doodle uh, at at the wall. Okay, and I like to draw like example like the fish bone and also some others are uh, some creepy stuff lah. Okay, on the, on the wall. So um, my mom also told me that uh, actually uh, this this young boy uh, uh, they believe that uh, I in the future I might become an artist because during the like eighties uh, I should say not much people know about what is the occupation or the jobs about designer. Okay, no, no one know about this this job. Or even though for them, uh, the designing job actually is done by artists. It's not done by designer because uh, these words of designer is not existing yet for during the activities in Malaysia. Lah. And for uh, this picture is I, uh, I joined joined into the kindergarten. I was uh, six years old. Okay, when I was six years old, I had many ambitions. Okay, I wanted to become a sportman, a policeman. <clears throat> and also an artist. Why I had these three, um, I mean these three occupation to put in in my ambition during my six years old, because of okay, let's talk about sportman. Uh, if you notice that eighties uh, and nineties that time, you can see a lot of uh badminton heroes like example like Rashid Shidate, and also Fu Kokyong. Actually, uh, they are considered Malaysian hero like 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 the Li Zhongwei. Okay. Li Zhongwei is a is considered recent one lah. It's the latest one lah. Okay, but you can see by back to old days, uh, actually the name I had mentioned, they are considered the heroes, uh, sport hero in in Malaysia. So you can see every kids, okay, especially when we, I mean at my 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 back to my old house that area, you can see a lot of kids. Uh, like example, like evening five or six o'clock, they will come out and play badminton. So this also one of the. <clears throat> The, 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 the facts that inspired me wanted to become a sportman. So that's why in uh, the list of my dream dream occupation, I put sportman as one of it. And second, if you talk about policemen, that time 
I should say uh, we are the generation who really get a lot of inspiration from TV. Example, yeah, we, we got a lot of inspiration from, from the, the cartoon series like Transformer uh, and, and He-Man. <clears throat> if I'm not talking about the cartoon, um, I mean like movie or drama, like of course I will be saying that Chan really playing a, a, a very very uh, important role during that, that, that uh, Hong Kong movie time as a policeman, especially uh, on his uh, in his uh, this uh, police uh, story series. Okay, so I mean for me during the time I was very really I mean uh, admire Jackie Chan because uh, I I think hey. Wow, well, you're very brave, and 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 you are you. What you did is for the justice. So I would like to become a police like you. So this is one of the occupation that I also uh, put in in my my dream occupation uh, during this kindergarten. And the last one, artist, is because uh, as I said, my mom uh and she found out that I have uh, the talent, okay, on on drawing. But uh, it doesn't mean uh anything yet, okay. But um, I also I mean I get a lot uh, by the tips uh, from my mom say, ah, maybe in the future you can you can become an artist. So yeah, just putting artist in my in my dream uh, occupation uh, during this kindergarten uh, time. Uh, especially the, the the teachers, then they told us uh, to to fill in our uh, occupation dream in our. I don't know that one is uh, the, the notes or the essay. And this picture when I was uh, standard six, twelve years old, and. Yeah, you see one clip and suddenly I turn into okay, standard six already. And during the time I spent two years thinking what I wanted to become in the future. Because uh, you cannot take your kindergarten's uh, dreams and then you go and uh, put it uh, into your standard six uh, at the time to compare. Eh? Actually, uh, you can co you can continue your, 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 your dream occupation, but I didn't do that because every time i mean every time we grow up actually we have uh, different thoughts so this is one of the thing uh, gradually i forgotten what i have uh, i have set the the dream job uh, during the young during the young time and also this uh, standard six time uh, i found out myself uh, a little bit i mean a uh, problem especially like here what i say um i keep i keep thinking what i want to do but i i, I couldn't find out the answer because I'm uh, rebellious, <clears throat> playful, and un unsure. Um, because can, I can, I should say, uh, both my sister, their their, their result are better than me compared to, I mean, to others lah. And also myself in the class, I am not the best one uh, among all the student and also the, the classmate lah. So I just. I mean, I found myself a little playful and I not really wanted to listen the advice from parents or the elderly. Okay, so that time I also did not know about what actually I wanted to do. And yeah, this picture is back to yeah, uh, year 99 and I was uh, form 3. That time I think I was uh, 15. This picture is 15 or 16 years old. Lah. Okay, uh, yeah, I still... I still uh, very playful and immature, okay, and I mingle with some of the during the times. I mean, some of the some of the 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 the, 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 the schoolmate they call us, especially this group of deep friend, because we are considered the best best student because we are in the bad bad class, and also our result isn't that good. So they claim ourselves this uh, this this batch of uh, of us. Uh, uh, schoolmate, they are considered bad student, but I don't mind because at the time I can tell everyone that I I do not put any hearts on studying, and I love to bond thing. Okay, I don't care. I don't care about what's going on. Just just do whatever I want. Uh, I I I even bonding class. Okay, I go and sit at people's class and then uh go and go and go and take their their their, their lesson during during the the the, the teacher uh, lecture. I don't care at all. Okay. That time I very very playful lah. but uh why I I mean here I write after completing SPM I join MIA why I will go and I mean why I join MIA a uh, Malaysian Institute of Art because at the time my my parents actually they quite uh worry about my future and during the time um 
the trend the trend is popular during i think 2000 uh, which is uh, you can see a lot of uh, the store are selling handphones especially the rise of the nokia 3310 or 3250 that that that, that moment everybody is is so hit on the i mean hit on the the, the, the phone so my my parents they were worried worry about i will become a phone promoter uh, join a phone, phone promoter after the SBM go and sell phone. So uh, under this pressure, my father just straight away and don't care about my feeling and he just go and register uh, my, I mean, register me, uh, let me to join in MIA for the for the further study. And this picture was, uh, I think, 18 years old. See, yeah. 18 years old, I was 2000, in year 2001, yeah, 18 years old. And actually, you see, uh, this picture, it also not showing that I'm very serious, okay? Actually, during the time, I laggy, laggy, playful. Why? Because my feeling is like a prison just released from, prisoner just released from a prison, okay? Because no more secondary school, uh, I mean, the, 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 the life, and I do not have any pressure on exam, uh, I mean, school project assignment. No need, no, no need worry about this thing. Okay, you no need to work. I uh, work. I mean, uh, wake up so early. Okay, everything is released very free. That's why when I was in MIA, this is uh, the picture I taken together with my MIA classmate. I tell you what, in this class, I'm consider myself is the laziest uh, classmate lah for them in the class. I don't do my assignment. I chin chai do my assignment. I don't care how lecturer to go me. I don't I don't care at all because for myself, it's time to play, then you play. It's time to eat, you eat. So I don't care. So like I said here, I was not the best in class because of my laziness and lack of focus. This is a true story. And but why suddenly 360 I turned myself become uh, another person? So this is the next story I would like to tell you all. So this picture is back to 2002, I was 19, okay. Why I go and join this school? Okay, I don't want to tell what school, lah, okay. Uh, this is the second school, lah. it's not MIA, okay. Why I go and join second school? Because of one day, uh, I my sister, and she got the pamphlet uh, from the second school, from the second third school, because during the, 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 the period of time, the school are having one, Something like this, the, 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 the college and university, the kind of uh, root show. So this this B school, they tender the pamphlet to my sister. And this school also, I mean, quite quite strong in uh, designing and animation. Uh. So my, my sister just straight away passed me the pamphlet and I was so amazed by the pamphlet itself. And I found out, oh, oh, this is actually what I want. So that... That moment also one of the the, the 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 key point to start off my passion to transfer myself to another new school, but the problem is, um, as I say, I have a I had a lot of problem, especially like laziness, uh, unsure, the kind of uh, 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 the, the, the the issue, and actually my parents they quite worry about uh, is it a good time to let me to join the another the another uh, new school. Which is uh, which is the current situation, uh, uh, to reflect myself is not good at the current school already. But if you go to the another second school, is it you you, you will be reflecting same same uh, problem again, uh, at the at the at the same time. So, um, for me, I mean after I I I listen some of these uh reason, I mean reason given by my parents, I feel very sad, and I also uh back begging them for a whole night and eventually um i mean all the parents they like their kids lah. and i don't know i don't know what they had communicated uh, the whole night but the second night the uh, second day i got i got uh, the, the 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 good news about my parents they allowed me to transfer myself into a new school and starting again a new semester start from zero but you have to understand that i already spend uh, one year, two semester in MIA. So for the B school, I have to reset up again. I have to re 
study again from zero. So no, no choice. But uh, to be honest, uh, this B school are also very serious about um, on the student standard. So even though I already uh, passed every my assignment uh, have done in MIA or double A, uh, they say your assignment double A jadi, so you cannot skip. You cannot skip uh, any semester. You have to start from zero, start from scratch. Okay, no. Yeah, I just tell my mom. I say no choice. I have to start from zero. You let me try. So when I joined this school, to be I mean to be to be to be frank, uh, frankly speaking, I really had a lot of uh, I mean makan susah. Memang memang makan susah during this this uh, this school because uh, the school are really serious about the, the the student progress and also the process. So I just talked to myself. I really really wanted to um give a best and also want to prove to my parents that I'm serious this time because you have to understand that during the primary school and also the secondary school, I did not put any focus and I do not uh, had any good time on doing well in my study. So I just talked to myself and this, uh, okay, this year already 19 years old, I wanted to become uh, a, 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 really, uh, a good son and also a good student in the in the school and also in, in in my family so yeah here obviously it, uh, i mean written for the first time i got 85 marks uh, in uh, for my college study assignment okay then i became motivated why i got this 85 marks because um uh bef i mean before i joined b school i really learned a lot of uh, like some skill example like color study from my previous school which is the mia and the technique and the skill I already learned, I know how to do it. So when I when I start again this new assignment in this B school, for me it's very easy because I know the technique already. So basically, the technique is there, but for me is I need to put a lot of patience to paint this color study assignment. Who knows? This is uh, the first number, the highest number in my life, and this uh, number has motivated me uh, to make all to make the following assignment better and better because I try, I mean, I, I feel before uh, some subjects, especially in secondary school and even primary school, but this 85 marks really inspire me a lot. So it, keep, it keeps me uh, motivated. Like example, I say, if my color study can 85, what about my, my, uh, my what do you call that, a corporate identity 90, typography 95, or packaging A, packaging one 100, so this is the benchmark which I set for myself. And this picture, I was, I think, 21 or 22. I almost graduated already when I was in B school. And one day, I wrote a, a notice uh, on my wall. I just talked to myself. Before I turn 25, I need to have uh, these five, um, five promises. Uh, okay. First, uh, which is a studio, second house, uh, third uh, car, fourth uh, solo exhibition, and last one agency life. Um, studio, I set up um, my studio when I was uh, 24, 2007. That time was, yeah, my, my, my very first uh, studio, which is a uh, Sumaki studio, and I started up together with Vivian, okay, my wife, uh, house. Uh, my first, I bought my first house when I was 23, okay? I I really, uh, I mean, save, save some money, lah. so I just thought to myself, uh, before I get everything, but I have to make myself a little bit commitment, so I just bought my first house uh, when I was 23 years old, and I owned my car when I was also same year, 23, my first car, but Right now, I had my third car already. Uh, the first car already sold out. Huh? Suda rusted already, rusty already. So I, I sold out already. Now I I, I got a, a better car. Lah. Okay. And the fourth uh, solo exhibition. I had my first exhibition when I was, I think, 22. Uh, 22. I just, uh, just very fresh uh, to step in, in the industry. And I got an opportunity to exhibit to exhibit my uh, some of my my freestyle uh, kind of uh, artwork in JB, one of the school I forgot the name already. Uh, that time, uh, it really had a lot of uh, visitors 
from Singapore. They came to uh, my exhibition. Okay, they travel long away from Singapore to JB. And the last one, Agency Life, uh, which is, um, I think, 2004. 2004, 2005, I joined, uh, I, manu- I mean, I, I, I managed to join one uh, quite well-known agency in Singapore. At the time, I just traveled to Singapore for, for working and also in KL because they had brunch. And I learned a lot of things, especially I follow uh, one, two art directors. They are from Singapore and Hong Kong. They taught me a lot of things. So I will talk more lah, later. So after that, I also got another new uh, notice, which is I re- written already, I, st- I, I stick on my wall. And this time I managed to fulfill four only, which is not five. Okay, let me explain why. Uh, one, uh, give lectures. Uh, I started become lecturer when, uh, when 2010. This is my first time I became uh, the art lecturer, uh, design lecturer in Saito College. And uh, second, participate in conferences. My first speaking, uh, I think it was like 2006. Uh, I forgotten. Uh, I think I think it's organized by one of our old friend called Si Juan, and he 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 hosts an event in Avenue K. Uh, I, I forgot the event already. So this is our first. Uh, I mean, giving talks. So the third, uh, which is the work work with international brand, uh, which is I just uh, set up Swaki, uh, same year, I think is 2000, yeah, six, the 2007. So in that year, we managed to got uh, one project from London, uh, but it's a very simple job. Lah. So yeah, they consider one of the setting stone lah, for us to work uh, with more uh, overseas project. And Ford write a book. I didn't write any books, but we managed to publish our uh, design magazine, which is called Cutout. It's been 10 years already. And this year, uh, we managed to get the fund from Georgetown Festival. And we are we are going to, uh, I mean, uh, to hold this uh, uh, exhibition, 10 years exhibition in, in Penang. Perhaps uh, the MCO release already, the event can go, then maybe you can pay a visit. And the last one, start a design college. I got a lot of proposal from friends, investor, but unfortunately, I still think myself is not ready yet, even my wife. Uh, I believe one day I will start my design college. I don't think I will start any what design university, but design college, definitely I will, but not now. Maybe 40, maybe late 40, early 50. I think this is a good time. For now, I enjoying life. I, now I don't don't take so much stress, okay? Okay, so now it's talking about after I graduated. So after my graduated, uh, after my graduation, I work in nightclub. Nightclub, I try to work before three months as a junior designer, uh, art agency, and also design studio. That's why you can see some of my works. I had, uh, I, I, the, I mean, inside our works, actually we are finding a balance in between advertising and also design, okay, from, Ideal, I mean, from the ideal part to the execution part, I'm the person very particular on the process, okay, especially um, on communicating, communicating with the designer or even, uh, I mean, to myself. I always talk to myself uh, as a, as an owner of the design studio, it's better than yourself can have uh, the opportunity also involving in the design. Instead of you talk, but doing this. I mean, do the design is by others. This is not my motto, lah. Okay, I, I'm more enjoying the process uh, during the designing process, lah. Okay, so uh, both of them uh, were my uh, art directors when I was in Singapore. Okay, they are very good. They taught me a lot of things. Okay. Okay, but uh, this part is very important. Okay, let let me explain why. Okay, but. I realized one thing that I do not know how to digest brief in English well. Okay, actually got L uh, because my shirt covered in the L cannot see. Okay, you see, uh, now actually I do not say that my English is very good. Okay, compare Vivian, Vivian is very good. I'm not very good. Okay, you can see my young time uh, already destroy a lot of things, which is because of my laziness and I do not focus well in my study. That's why when I pick up my English, it's constantly very late already. Even Chun Wei also know my English, Mama Tai Pun Tong Sui, it's like that one. Okay, but 
Uh, during these years, I really catch up quite fast. I also know how to use some grammar and also some words because I have no choice. Okay, even though my Chinese is good, but English at least good lah, good a bit lah. Because I have to lecture mah, so no choice. In the class, you have Indian, Chinese, Malay. Takkan you selalu cakap Chinese kan? So no choice. I don't force myself to 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 learn because uh, I find out if you are doing a designer in Malaysia, home Malaysia, English is very important. English uh, is dominating this, I mean, dominate the, 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 the market uh, is very big. Okay, even you see uh, our current clients all communicate in English, so no choice. And yeah, we win, we win is very good. And I mean, I learned a lot from my wife, okay, and I started picking up newspapers and magazine, no choice. She just told me, she said, if you pick up newspaper and magazine, don't look at the photo, nice images. You have to read the words, read it up. Okay, have to understand this phrase is uh is talking what is talk is is what about, and yeah, listening to songs, watching movie, and dare to speak. Okay, don't care about the words is is a good word or the bad word. Like example, hey you kick ass. This is considered you learn already. You know how to use it. Okay, this is considered uh, a, a a a very good uh. I mean, way to 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 go and train your your English because she always she always tell me that you manage to read but doesn't mean you manage to speak it to others. That's why that's why this is one thing I I I mean I mean I also uh, talk to my myself just 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 put more guts lah speak to others because you see sometimes like example I went to I went to Taiwan I had some conference during the event you know the design events. Uh, I mean, I mean, of course, I speak Mandarin, ah, but you know the Japanese, they speak, they speak the English are very lousy one. But no one, no one laugh at, laugh at them. Eh. No one, no one saying that the English is not good. No, none. No one go and say. But if you back to Malaysia, you say, you say English. I mean, when you when you talk this, okay, la, lousy English, la, we will laugh at you. Okay, laugh on you. I, I don't think this is a, this is a problem. La. Just... You just treat this is the way to make yourself better, to learn better. This is what I can give the comment. Okay, but of course, sometimes like uh, some some international talks or some some presentation, if Vivian are beside me, I will say, Vivian, you talk lah. You are better than me. Of course, you talk lah. Okay, if the Chinese one, then I talk lah. Mandarin or Cantonese, I, I, I good at that area, then I talk. But if some, if let's say, no choice, then speak lah. Because sometimes you have to know how to twist the game. Like example, you want to make presentation, you have to talk to the client. Uh, uh, sorry ah, can I make this presentation in Mandarin ah? 我可以讲华语吗? If the Chinese client okay, then okay lor. If cannot, then never mind, you speak lah. Takkan they gonna laugh. Oh, your English not good, then you can do my project. No such thing lah. Okay. And then, yeah, I found out to buy this studio with Vivian when 2007. I twenty four. Okay, so this this were my student uh, uh I my second is it third or second school I teach at KBU. Okay, so they were my student. And we organize uh events, join a design association, join design festivals and activities and also give talks. Um why we go and do a lot, we we, we do a lot of things uh, very simple because uh to be honest, you always sit in front of the desk, just do design is very, very boring. So uh, I have to admit that uh, myself is a very passionate people, Vivian also. So we just say this is a good time to share uh, some of our thoughts in my, our design and also see, uh, go, and, go and see uh, who else can, can can make can can make can make friends up basically can 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 know more people in from the industry to go and exchange some some sharing. So this is the I mean some of the the, the activities that we join. Okay. Like I say my first uh, lecture at Cyber College was English. No choice. You see this is uh this picture I think taken two thousand 11 or 12, I forgot already. You see, my class got Malay student, got Indian student, definitely got Chinese student. 
but it doesn't mean that Chinese students they understand understand Chinese. Eh? Some of them the banana how to understand Chinese. They also want to speak in English. So you have to speak. I I also had a very funny uh I mean feedback from the HR department that got students go and complain, say my English very sucked. I don't I don't care at all. Okay. Because I talk to myself, uh you as long as you want to learn one thing, you don't care about how people go and see you. If you so care about how people go and see you, I can tell you you're always uh is the loser. Okay, because you care, you so care about how people say you, then you cannot you cannot you cannot improve lah. so i don't care at all you want to you think i'm that person then you just go ahead so this is my motto lah. and one day uh back to i mean uh, uh this uh 2010 uh we were thinking of having a local design magazine hence we make up we make we make one uh cut out uh this i should go and thank to my uh my father-in-law uh, he is very he is a very good person and he sent a lot and i mean encouragement to us uh, and support uh, to help us to help us to build this uh, cut out magazine okay by one conversation this is a long story i got time i baru share a bit lah. i can i can jump but uh yeah my father is very good without him no cut out so after uh we published the uh, this uh, cutout magazine and eventually the sales are very good okay was very very good during uh, 2010 to 20 probably 14 the sales were very good now double a now the global global issue lah. now magazine and books quite susa lah, okay uh, but luckily still got some fans and reader they still buy lah, still asking for new issue Okay, so get back to this this slide. Uh, so I keep my spirit high and aim for better development for this design magazine in these years. We are not only upgrading the design surface or the design interface of this magazine. We also did a lot of research and on the readers, and we managed to change to upgrade some of the content uh, inside the magazine. Uh, even uh, like the outcome, the design outcome, we, we, we also play a lot of uh, new layouts, uh, new illustration, and even the finishing as well. We don't mind ourselves not earning so much of money, but we mind about this magazine, it has to be very proper and uh, still manage to catch the trend in the market. Okay, uh, this is my studio, but... Uh, 20 when are this 20, 2000 no 2016 yeah 2016 or 17 now okay now Kalangabu a bit because we just uh, put the risograph machine and it become a, a print, print printing area or anything sometimes they are obstacle okay whereby these three things financial issues uh, staff mismanagement and misconnection clients financial issue very common now Okay, want to chase uh, clients that cannot collect or the client disappear already, gone already, susah lah. Okay, they want thing, sometimes quite stress lah. Second is staff mismanagement. This one, a headache, I tell you. Very headache. You want to hire a good staff, uh, not, you have to you have to try your luck lah. Okay, I don't want to mention who, but many staff is not a very easy thing lah. Okay, you have to see your fate long. Uh, this batch of this designer or the staff is good one, then Kong Sifa Chai, good lah. But this batch of the, the staff, double A one, memang double A. Susa to jack up. Okay. But Susa to communicate with the with the, the staff also one of the problem. Lah. And the last one will be the miscommunication with clients. Uh, here, uh, sometimes we also, uh, I mean, facing with some, uh, some clients, some lousy client, then no choice law. Like example, I give you a very, I give you fine dining food, but you insist me to give you pasta malam food. Then no choice lah. You want that thing? I give you because sometimes if we too, I mean too uh, stubborn on one thing, end up you cannot earn, earn that money. So you see how do you balance lah? Love and money, you have to find a balance lah. So let's say really when you meet with lousy clients, so you see how you deal. Uh, but for me, sometimes I give up already. I just ask, I just tell Vivian, 
uh, you go and deal uh, I don't want to deal this kind of client uh. so susah but I of course we try not to piss with them uh, just play nicely just that I don't want to spend so much time talking with this client because if I keep putting a lot of my time with this client I know my uglier face will be coming out so the, the, the client might be not happy uh, so try uh. I mean sometimes you, you, you must know how to play the game and life still needs to keep calm and carry on if uh, if back to seven to eight years ago if i'm not happy normally i would choose myself uh, try to fly over to taiwan uh, especially in kaohsiung for about one week okay i try to find some of the senior friends to talk about to speak to to speak out about uh, my feeling from my heart and also some some obstacle uh, which i I face, I talk to them, then they are very good. And some of the seniors, they share a lot of um, life story to me and also uh, taught me how to become a better person. And I also found out it, for me, okay, the best way for me to distress is through sharing and lecturing. I love to lecturing, actually, I, I, I like to le lecture and, and, sh and sharing. Uh, but unfortunately, this year, because of the pandemic and I lost, uh, lecturing in Macau and even in summer university, no choice. Um, because distant learning also one of the problems, especially online. So Macau site will also stop already. Uh, Taiwan, no need to say, Taiwan I also already, already stopped for one year plus already. So I have to wait until pandemic is gone, everyone back to normal, then perhaps I can fly again. Okay, but I found out the best way to, uh, to de-stress I think sharing is, is, a, is a very good thing, especially share to the young designer or the student. And after that, uh, you can see my life uh, has started improve. Uh, this this picture was taken during uh, 2014. Uh, I was uh, hired uh, to become one of the judge, judge one of the judges in in Kaohsiung, Taiwan. Uh, I think it's a it's a it's a student student award kind of thing. Uh. Okay, I fly over there for a talk. And yeah, yeah, back to the slide. I started getting invitations to school events, university lectures, and design festivals. Same thing, but um, the scenario and also the activities are a little bit different. Uh, I just uh, get, I mean, the, the status has been a little bit evolved. Lah. Okay, I started become uh, a lot of, uh, like, like, like judge law, judges, and also speaker. Uh, especially in the big events, okay. But mostly these events uh, and festival was uh, host in 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 overseas lah, especially Taiwan lah, mostly. And after that, um, this picture I also wanted to tribute to uh, Mr. Tommy Lee. Uh, he is one of the mentor lah, consider a, a good a good a good seafood. Okay, uh, had had. Uh, I mean, he has uh, inspired me a lot of things, and yeah, he's very good. Lah. Okay, um, this picture I wanted to tell everybody that uh, actually during this uh these years, I mean back to the, the time lah, I I sometimes I quite confusing about whether my work is it good or bad, because uh you have to understand that every people will be saying that uh if you talk about Asian design. You won't talk about Malaysian design. You will be talking about uh, Japan design, Taiwan design, Hong Kong design, Korea, Korea design, and even China design. None of the people they will be talking about. Hey, hey, you know, you know what? Actually, uh, Malaysian design is very good. It's very terrible. Or what? No, they just talk about. You, you, you can see, ma, What is the? Uh, I mean, which is calling that like East inspire. Uh, West inspire East, but nobody go and East inspire West, ma. So. You can see Malaysia is considered not in the list, la. but uh, until 2014, uh, I get I got uh, I mean approached by Golden Pin Design Award from Taiwan, and I just accidentally got and took part. Who knows? Uh, we won best of the best uh, during that year. We are considered the first Malaysian won this Golden Pin Best Award in 2014 uh, among these uh, 3,000 uh, awards worldwide. We are so honored. And after this awards, it, it also drive me. I mean, my gut has been bigger already. I go and join Red Dots, Hong Kong DA, DFA, and even and many, many big, uh, big awards, okay? Uh, I think the, the, the latest one, which is the top award not from Japan, 
I we we really um, submitted a lot of works uh, from typography, uh, editorial, uh, graphic design, and also packaging. But you never believe that as a Malaysian, actually your work bole bole one. You will see, hey, actually my works, I mean our works quite quite okay one more. So just this is one of the motivation to drive ourselves to make a promise that uh, if we manage to create something is good, functional, uh, and also valuable, and we also wanted to make this thing also awarded. So this is uh, un consider our our self motto lah, okay for this this year's the promise to ourselves and also our promise to our clients. Yeah, this is the picture we have taken for uh, this uh, pre-wedding photo. Lah. And it also uh, got the Golden Pin Awards. Uh, is one of our, our wedding gift. Lah. So I we, we took this photo uh, back to six years ago. Okay. And this was uh, one of all back to 2017 and we got uh, we got the silver in DFA Awards in Hong Kong, and my student, uh, both of us, uh, we purposely fly over to um, to Hong Kong to obtain this uh, award trophy. Okay, and the time we also managed to make a small gathering among with a lot of the uh, overseas designer. And yeah, after that, twenty seventeen is ngam ngam our ten years. Like I say, we set up Subaki is on. 2007. 2017 is our 10 years anniversary. So this was our first ever 10 years uh, exhibition in two places, which is the Kaohsiung in Taiwan and also Kobe in Japan. So the upper picture is Kaohsiung and the lower picture is Kobe in, in Japan. And this photo uh, was taken in Kobe. The gallery is called uh, Sanseido Gallery in Kobe. Uh, even though the, the the space is a little bit small, but we managed to showcase uh, our ten years uh, works and the and the time our exhibition just for hold for two weeks and we managed to get a lot of visitors from Jakarta. Jakarta is the Japanese uh, Graphic Design Association. Some of the designer they purposely came down from Osaka, Tokyo, uh, and also Nagoya. Some of the places like uh, they came over for uh, I mean for visit visit our exhibition and also I kept in touch with a lot of uh, with them, especially uh, some designers. But the time is very cold, uh, I can tell you. And the second one, this picture was uh, I taken also in 2017, but this is a pre-show in Islip Bookstore, uh, Chen Ping Su Dian in Kaohsiung. And we got uh, an honored uh, invitation by this bookstore and they asked us to make a pre-exhibition in their store and the time also quite happy lah because a lot of designer a taiwanese designer they they went over uh, to see this pre-show okay because some of the designer uh they can't promise they can go to the actual one so they go to the pre-show so this is uh, i mean this exhibition is in uh in the elite uh, bookstore and after that uh the big one which is in this uh Kaohsiung, uh, no, this is uh, uh, Kaohsiung Yong Da Xue. Ah, uh, So, so this is the, the next one, which is in the university. Uh, quas, we call it as a quas. So, uh, they managed to to give us uh two floors, the first one and the second one, and we are we are we are uh we go and compile, I think two hundred works uh, during these 10 years and then we managed to decorate the, uh, the first and the second floor and this time we also uh, got uh, a collaboration with Eric Chong the fashion designer so uh, I mean his work also displayed here because he helped me to tailor one set of the closet by using my graphic okay he purposely go and tailor for me so uh, the first showcase was in this Kaohsiung uh, Yong Da Xue okay and yeah, the, the first floor, we also display some of our sketches and also our uh, very rough idea, mostly the papers, lah, okay, to, to let the visitor to see actually how we go and start everything. And yeah, after that, this photo was back to 27 or so. Okay, my first time I stepped on the stage uh, on talking about the design process uh, in this uh, TEDx in Road 
Okay, here, yeah, this is my code. Okay, take everything surrounding as your inspiration, everything. So just uh, try to observe everything surrounding you. Okay, it might be one of the source uh, to, to, to kickstart or even to motivate your ideas. Okay, so just be aware of everything surrounding you. And yeah, always uh, think out of the box. Think out of the box always, yeah. And this photo was taken 2014. I first time became one of the judges uh, okay, in in this uh, Gauss, uh, this is the Qingchun Se Ji Jie, okay. And these are five of the tips I would like to share to all designers uh, to become a better designer. First is a direction, second is a passion, third is the knowledge, fourth, guts, and fifth, sincerity, okay. These five for me, it's very important because uh, if you fulfill four without one, I can tell you um, your life might be a little bit hard. Lah. Okay, as a designer, you have to always clear about your direction, uh, which, which type of designer you want to be. Uh, and also always burning your passion. You cannot let your passion down. Your passion down already, susah lah. you want to keep yourself on doing this, uh, become a designer is quite susah. Lah. Knowledge. No, it's really important. Okay, don't don't say about oh, I always read color. I always read IDN. I read a lot of design article. No, 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 no. This is part of your creativity only. But besides of that, like financial, feng shui, uh, health, wealth, everything lah. Uh, it's all is about knowledge. One you have to understand because the source of creativity is came from knowledge. For guts, I tell you what. I'm not a brave people. You see, uh, now I giving talk. Like I mean, I mean, I can I can say that I already used to it already. I uh, used to it, and how how can I go and I mean maintain this gut because of I always talk to myself. Don't care about people. Go and uh, say who you are or care about what are you. You should care about your future. You care about. Uh, how much time you can share. So this is the, the, the way how I keep my guts. I mean, standing up on, on the stage to speak. I'm not saying that I'm the best speaker or the, spe the best uh, lecturer, lecturer or what, but as long as the thing I deliver in a good way and I manage to educate everyone with, 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 my, with my pure hearts, I think it is good enough already. And, I mean, especially like designer, mostly designer, they feel very, very shy. Uh, they, they, they just say I'm I, I able to do a good design but it doesn't mean that I manage to give a good sharing or a good presentation for my clients or for the public. You shouldn't say that. You should give yourself a chance to speak because design is one of it but speaking is also one of it in this design career. Okay, If you don't know how to speak, you will be such a... And the last one will be sincerity. Um, like I say, if you're the younger one, please respect to elderly, please respect to senior. Because I always respect to the elderly or the senior because they always give us a lot of uh, tips and also advice. So yeah, just be humble, lah. stay humble. Lah. And yeah, the last one, uh, <laughs> I am now really enjoying my life with my daughter. My daughter, Suda, Tika, yes, three years old already. And we'll play toys together, we collect toys together, play games together. She also taught me some funny things. Yeah, we're, I'm a, we're happy. Uh, I don't see myself as a 100% designer, but sometimes I have to cut out some of my 100% designer life to, to contribute to my family, maybe 30% to the family. Last time I was the person fully uh, focused on the career, but now I separated already. I already set some of the percentage to my family. Okay, family is very important. Serious. And yeah, lastly, uh, if you would like to, uh, I mean, see more about our works, I suggest you can go to Behance.net slash Subaki Studio. You're able to see a lot of uh, uh, our packaging, some packaging quite nice one, and some of the experimental project especially uh, we work together with the interns on the print result on Resograph. Okay, you can see that uh, we, we actually, we do a lot of things, uh, okay? And lastly, thank you uh, to everyone.
Okay, thank you so much, Jay. Uh, it's very, uh, very inspiring and very personal session. Okay, so uh, uh, to those of you who has questions to Jay, uh, you can uh, leave your questions on the comment below, all right? <coughs> okay, so we have our first questions uh, from Aya. So uh, it says that, uh, hi, Jay, in your opinion, why is Malaysia's design getting less recognition compared with other Asia countries? And what can we do in order to get more attention from other countries? Yeah, Jay. I think I shouldn't say Malaysian, Malaysian designer getting less recognition. I should say, um, but sometimes this is also one of the factors that the design uh, that we have made. Example, um, you have to understand that Singapore and Malaysia uh, is almost the same one. Uh. But I found out I found out one thing is why our design cannot be focused because of we are having three uh, major races in in our country. So this is one thing. So how do you how do you can uh manage to to do something is uh what you call it like significant this have to be this has to be depends on your client or the project that you do they man they they are they are they are managed to 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 to, to put to to get in the the, the craziest idea okay like something like uh what about I go and do one example I we we managed to do one bird nest client, but why this bird nest packaging managed to win this to won this uh, packaging awards in TOP uh, awards because of they say this packaging is very really unique. But back to the question is why everyone has to be follow the old law on the current design. Like example, this bird, bird nest design. Okay, everybody will think about bird nest is only dedicated for Chinese market. The color it must be having in yellow, orange, or gold color. Okay, but as a designer, I think you should you should go and pump in a lot of inputs and new uh new ideas with your client, saying that uh can we do something to prove Malaysia design is 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 better than overseas design like a Japan design or the European design okay so um, I mean I mean for myself I, I I always I always talk to my client I say you have to you have to try something something new okay and these new things could be could be one of the factor to make our to make ourselves to ex, to expose or to expose more good design to the to the world and let uh, the outsider to see hey, actually Malaysian designer is is some of the design quite good one. So this is uh, one of the factor lah. We always spoke, speak, I mean, spoke to our client. And because of we started already, you can see there are a lot of young designer. They also say, hey, if let's say Jay can do it, how come we cannot do it? So this is one considered is a trend lah. Okay, it's a it's a education it's a education trend. To to motivate uh, the the friend and also the designer, which is surrounded, I mean surrounded us one. Okay, so everybody they also wanted to do good thing. So you see, the Malaysia design must be can 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 rise up one. And if you talk about awards, I shouldn't say awards is hundred percent guarantee one because uh, depends lah. For me, awards it's just uh, uh maybe you want to. It's like a exam paper. Like you just want to prove yourself. If let's say this this project, or uh, what is the mark on my my project? What is the judges see on this project, and what is their their feedback and 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 the comment? So this is just, I mean, my thoughts lah. Okay. Yeah, so so I hope uh Jay answer your question a year. <laughs> If the question lousy, don't laugh. Or <laughs> okay, so um, I think this uh, pandemic uh, did affect a lot of uh, people, especially uh, in the commercial side. So, how does this pandemic? Uh, are you are your job affected by the pandemic? 
No. Or do you? Yeah. Terbang it pula. <laughs> yeah. During this pandemic moment, uh, we are considered ourselves very lucky. Uh, why leh? Um, if I say about why, I should say uh, maybe because of during year 2019, uh, we managed to came out few packaging. And this packaging, one or two also won the awards. Lah. And it really catch some of the attention from the client, especially the public. So, uh, and then, circle it matter, back to the pandemic time. And you can see, actually Malaysia considered very fast because of, you can see all the uh, the client, especially they are from the retail, retail industry one, they already turned themselves into the online on, online seller. And they also uh, find a lot of uh, ways and also find a lot of uh, opportunity to transform themselves into another business, which is they sell some products online rather than they sell the service. So because of everybody is selling products online, uh, I found I found out one thing which is cannot be replaced is the packaging. So during this pandemic moment, I don't know how, how to explain why. I just feel very weird and we got a lot of inquiries from the client that they wanted to do packaging after they seen our portfolio. But of course, uh, I felt very lucky that uh, I had some shared, uh, shared uh, portfolio from Taiwan because I, I, I had a partnership with uh, my Taiwanese partner, which is called KNI. And yeah, I mean, I mean, one of the factor did, I mean, it attracted some of the client also from my partner's portfolio and also our portfolio. Lah. So for right now, I think in these uh, two years, I consider two, 20, 2020 to this 2021 packaging project, lah, we almost did, I think about 20 or more than 20. And these clients, they are not repeating client. They are all totally new face, new faces client. They, they, they came in, they just say, uh, hi, uh, we would like to inquire to do uh, full branding on this project and also include packaging. So this is how we get started uh, from last year until now. Yes, I think I think uh, I've also speak with a lots of uh, friends, designers. Uh, it 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 seems that uh, during pandemic, design jobs uh, becomes. I think they they have they have more jobs during pandemic compared to before pandemic. So yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think I think when people started to go online, uh, the the most important thing is is the visual is still needed, and that's when. Uh, designers is needed. Do you agree with that? Yeah, yeah. Oh, this is this is very important. Yep. <clears throat> so, very so, important. Right. So, um, uh, you you have a secret project, right, <laughs> coming soon in Georgetown. <laughs> yeah, exhibition. Uh. <laughs> yeah. So, so, uh, do you mind to to tell us a bit about it? I can actually, um. Is coming uh, July on, I think on twelve. Uh, actually, we we just managed got the fund the funding from this Georgetown uh, Festival, and uh, they are very they are very helpful and grateful that uh, they sponsor everything uh, for for the whole show. Uh, and this whole show, what we wanted to do uh, is to bring back all the memories uh, during these uh, ten years. Uh, on be doing this uh this magazine called cut out it's a it's a it's a all, all the memories and the moment uh, we wanted to to share it out uh through all the pieces of the photo uh we will display about 40 or 50 photo from year 2010 to 2020 okay the the the, the people we met the process we did and some events so all the all the activities the moment will be will be showing up in this body uh, photos uh, during the exhibition. And also we will display some of our, uh, uh, the real magazine uh, in the exhibition as well. And also some prototype will be showing. And of course, uh, not to be missed is uh, I also invited three best friends okay, from Malaysia and overseas one. And I, I, I let them to showcasing some of their works. 
Okay, because these three friends has really, uh, I mean, influenced us quite big uh, during these 10 years. Long. Okay, they, 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 they keep supporting us, they give a lot of support. So this is uh, one of the, I mean, uh, the return, uh, okay, to, 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 to tribute back to these three best friends. So their works also will be displaying in our exhibition as well. And the, the venue is in the, um, forgot already, you know, that one called what? Uh, near Jetty, you, right? Near Jetty, the, the yeah. place I forgot, I forgot already. Uh, call what? Already. But never mind, uh, the detail, you can go to my Facebook or the cutout Facebook, we will share it uh, when, when, it, when it really runs up. Because right now, the GDF, the site, they have, they have uh, they have cancelled the event because due to this, due to this uh, MCO period. So the further notice, I think they will be announced sooner. Okay, I think probably on September. Okay, so thank you so much for your time. I think that's all we have for tonight. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, for your time and it's it's really good to have you with us tonight so uh thank you again to all of you who are watching this uh join us on july uh uh on july and we would be featuring another designers uh, all the way from france thank you jay and good night everyone okay see you bye bye bye